Okay, everybody, we're just going to do a simple video tute on how to do a chroma key in Fusion, Digital Fusion. First thing we want to do is import the footage into the scene. Um, so we've got the program open. What I find is the easiest way to do is just to drag it from uh, you know, your ex external folders into the program and put it into the flow window. So I just brought that in there. So I just dragged it and I put it here in the flow area. Next thing I want to do is I want to add a primat uh, key to it. Now the primat is like a filter or a modifier and within this program they're actually called nodes. So each one of these um, little boxes is, 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 is a node. You'll notice underneath each box is a little black, is two little black dots. You click on on the left one and it'll make the source footage appear in the uh, you know, preview window and you click on the primat here and we're go I'm going to click on the other little black dot on the right and it'll, it'll show the result of the key. At this point we haven't started playing with the modifier or the filter as yet so let's just go over here. You'll notice over here on the right if I click on the Primac here there's a whole lot of other parameters that have uh, come up and a lot of um, you know uh, settings that you can use to change and modify your mat. If I go back to the original source footage it takes a little while because this is recording video It'll sh you'll see that there's all these other settings as well which relate to the actual source footage, the format, yada yada yada. Let's go back to the primat. First thing I'd like to do is hit auto compute. And straight away it does a pretty good job of trying to create a key of making that green a uh, transparent alpha channel. So what uh, that's worked quite well. What we're going to do now is we're going to clean up the background a little bit. The background meaning the green, the alpha. Just click on the clean background button and it actually worked this time which is good. I'm just going to select a little section and you see it's basically cleaning up the mat for me. There's some problems here where we had wrinkles in the curtain. It's not the um, most perfect curtain but uh, you know it's it's working. So straight away we've got to, I'll just click on these last little few dots here so if I can get rid of those pixels and it's worked. Now that's great we created a great little alpha or a mat for the um, where the green was, but you'll notice that the actual foreground, the actual character himself, has gone a bit strange. He's gone a bit, uh, it's almost like compressed black and crushed blacks, and just the way it looks. What we want to do is we want to go back to the foreground color and go cleaned foreground noise. Now, if you just select certain sections on the skin, you'll notice it will come back. It'll come back to the original. There you go. It's it's, it's more similar to the original uh, coloring. Now that's it. We've created a fantastic little alpha channel for the character. Now the other thing we want to do is let's bring in a background. So I'll just minimize for a second and find my background. Now I prepared my background earlier so that it matches exactly the same uh, pixel size as the footage. The footage was filmed in uh, 1920 by 1080 HD video. So I've made my background the same so they match. So there's less scaling or there's less problems. They're exactly the same. Now all we have to do to to combine these two to merge the footage together is to drag from this red little connector up here and drag it down to the other one and we have merged them together. Now you may be wondering how come we don't see it? It's because we have to click on the merge uh, module or node and then just come over here and click on the right little button and now there it is. Bada bim bada boom. We've got the final result looking quite nice. Now this is actually done your key. It's finished now. You'd be able to play through the footage and you'll notice that he's actually it's is stepping through frame by frame and it's keying every frame you just need to render this out if you did want to step through this footage frame by frame there's uh, the bracket keys next to the letter P on the keyboard and you can step through frame by frame look at look at your result only thing we need to do is we need to export this now it won't export it you can't just save it automatically what you need to do is right click on that node and go insert tool insert tool, IO meaning in and out and we want to uh, add another node called saver. Now we can just give it a name, we'll call it, I've already done this once before but I'll do it again, I'll call it Hellboy or Hellboy 2 and we want to tell it to be, uh, we, want to, we can choose what sort of image files we want, we're going to make it a QuickTime file, there it is and the great thing about this is if you've set that up correctly and you hit save you'll notice um, 
this little saver node now has everything already put in. It's got it tells you where the uh, the directory where you want to save it to, the file type with the dot movie. You have to put dot mov or otherwise it won't it'll save it out but it won't make it a dot movie. It'll just make it a, a file. You can go in later and change the extension but it's best to do it at this point. You check all your the output formats correct and you can look at other things here like the actual compression like I might want to increase that to 100% to make it as high a quality as possible and you can just check everything legal you could, I don't know you might want to put some other stuff in there and that's it if you're happy with that then you want to do is come down here and hit the render button now if I this is the last stage if I was to hit the start render button it would start going through the frames compositing it and rendering it out as a quick time movie and it would be finished if I did this right now it would interfere with the screen capture I'm doing so I'm not going to do it but that's all you do you hit the start render button and that's pretty much it so thanks thanks very much everybody